Hello everybody, it's Lynn. I'm just coming on quickly to show um, the swap items that I've made for Jill Spence uh, with the swap that uh, mutual swap we decided we were going to do for one another. I've received Jill's and there is a video up um, if anybody would like to see what Jill actually made for me. Now Jill doesn't make videos so I'm doing this um, so that you can see what uh, she will receive from me so let's get into it now the first thing that I made was this um, I'm not quite sure what you call this um, it's a journal cover I think I'm gonna call it a journal cover and this particular image is a stamp I have now I don't know where my stamp is at the minute, but I did this a long time ago on some calico fabric and after I'd stamped on it, what I did is I uh, mod modge podged over the top of it, put, put glue on, in other words, um, I put glue over it uh, to let it set. So um, I've pinked round it and then I've sewn it on, it's been sewn on twice and in the top it's a, like a double pocket there's a pocket at the back and then there's a pocket there because I did put some um, batting in but the batting's covered so therefore and I pinked that as well so it won't for a, so it makes a double pocket then I've put all the lace round like we do the cotton lace uh, I've put um, broken applique up that I um, Avocado died a couple of years ago and then I've put the famous little flowers with the net and the um, rhinestone in the middle. Put a little rhinestone in the tiny flower of the applique and then this one down here I've just put the rhinestone uh, flower. And they have tool to these flowers as well. Another little one there and I've put the rhinestone in that. And then when you open it up inside you've got uh, a pocket now this was a piece of edging um, fabric that I had left over and I just wanted to do that so I've sewn that on to give it a neat edge um, in the corners I've put um, I've cut some lace up uh, lace trim up to do the uh, the corners this is all and stitched is this as well it's ant stitched and machine stitched. Um, I ant stitched the corners in but I've actually glued the little flowers down, the pink rosebuds down in the corners. They've been hot glued down. And then um, there's another pocket here which is another stamp that I have, uh, the Tiffany & Co and that's another piece that I actually put Mod Podge on and it's all crinkled and I quite like how that's crinkled. In there's my card and then in this little bag there's one of my famous uh, nail files with the uh, cover. It's not one of the Paris ones, I'm sorry about that uh, Jill. I can't get hold of those at the minute. Um, so it's just an ordinary emery board is that. Yeah, that's the front. <laughs> it's the flower on the front on the front. And then it's just one big pocket is that. And then when you fold it over, um, you can see it's I might put my stamp on the back of that. I don't know. Am I am I inside there's a, a small TN Traveller's Notebook. Um I've done a cluster. There's some tulle, some uh, lace, some flowers, uh, a different, um, it's the same lace as that, um, some lace there. And then this is one of uh, G Kerr's, one of her Friday Freebie, uh, one of the uh, stickers. It's all been done on um, coffee dyed paper and I printed this out on the coffee dyed paper as well. I've edged 
down the side in lace. This pocket is um, my avocado dyed uh, paper from, I hope you can see this, I hope I'm not out of focus, uh, from a couple of years ago. And then I've stenciled it with a doily. I just stencil over the top with the doily. Sewn the lace on, made some, this is all out of the G Kerr's Friday Freebie. Uh, made a tag, a large tag, added the ribbon. That's another part of the same piece of paper. That's the small tag. And then these are some dress forms that uh, my friend gifted to me um, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I've altered one. I've put the Chica paper on, the little rose bow, and then I've put some little pearl there, um, edged around it, like we do. And that fits in there. That's the large dress form. This uh, is just the lace pocket there and that's a smaller pocket because it's stitched there. And then that's the same doily. Then here, this is a tumble sheet, is this, that um, I've added, uh, I've put the small flower trim at the top and then when you lift it up, there's one of the Tim, out, Tim Holtz uh, little grids and I've filled it with the the little cards that I make. Um, this I um, photocopied that onto some um, coffee dyed paper, edged round it, then I've put it on the craft card and then I've edged round the craft card uh, to distress it. This is um, a die that I have and what I did is I made, after I took the um, the die cut out. Um, this is the negative, and what have you? I've used it as a stencil of the birds, and I've put that on there. Um, this is some coffee dyed. It's Mexican coffee dyed paper. Is that? Um, it's quite strong coffee, and you see all these little marks on it. Um, that is uh, the day I actually did that. It rained, um, before I could manage to get it in off the lawn because I, I do mine I completely submerge them take them out and I spread them out on the lawn to dry and I do it on a hot day but that day actually rained and before I could get them in that's what happens if you let it rain onto your paper I love that effect um, you can see it better on see it better on this one um, it makes it mottled this side this is some uh, Amazon packaging um, from something I sent for. I've done a small tuck down at the bottom. It is sewn down, is that tuck, it doesn't open. Put some washi tape on, a couple of little tags with the uh, images, another bird template and then I've made, um, oh, what do you call them, journaling card. And that's one of my um, birdcage stamps that I have with a little blue bird and it says enchanting. And on the back, it's just plain. Here is um, two tags that I've made. And this is a, a die, sorry, it's a stamp that I've got. And it's the very first time I've used this stamp. I've took it away now. On the back I've done the um, corrugated paper effect that we all like to do. Added the um, lace, put a little, and then that's the other one. And then this is from a die that I've got, uh, the flower. Then I've added a little rhinestone and I've done the corrugated effect on there. And then this is a piece of the same G Kerr. It was only one. A4 piece of paper that I used as well when I've made all these things. Uh, randomly uh, tore a piece with the flowers on and that says may your day bloom with happiness. This is an eco dyed piece that I did quite a while ago, uh, a couple of years ago that and that's hydrangea leaves. 
um, from my garden. Um, I quite like that. And then here I've glued two doilies together and then in the middle, I've only used the thin elastic uh, gel so it's easy for you to take them in and out. Um, I've done it double. I've added some little pearl on the end to finish the um, ends off um, so that you can take it out, you know, you can use it again um, if you want it to, if you want it to use this cover. You could take the inside out or whatever. And then that's your eco dyed paper again. This is um, a little, um, that's a piece of Tim Holtz um, paper. And then I've inked round, it's just some coffee dyed paper. And then I've stapled it together and then I've just put some, um, I've glued some um, fabric across the top of that. So that lives in there. And then on this side, there's another tag, a uh, journaling tag, and this one says, let your dreams take flight. And I've added some little rhinestones to that with the, um, the lace. I've got the birds again, uh, another piece of washi tape, a couple of tags. Then I did an over the... Um, over the... Um, You call it? I can't think what they call these. I can't get it off. Oh, I can't think what it's called. This. Sorry, hang on a minute. It's got fast because it's just a paper clip, and I've sewn the. Hmm. Right, got it off. It's just a. Um, Rose gold paper clip is that. Uh, where are we? Here we are. It's one of these, whatever they're called, I can't think. This is a, a banner tag. Uh, I've got a set of these in different sizes and I've used uh, this one. Put the uh, same fabric over the top and I've sewn it. Um, I've left the strands, I don't know whether you like that sort of thing Jill if not just you know cut them off um, I have tied them so it's not going to come undone uh, they are tied down but I've just left the, the strands some people like it some people don't and then it's just over the page and then another of my bird cages and then I've put a figure two and I've put figure one but they're the same bird, bird uh, cage on there that's some more of the um, coffee dyed paper with the um, rain marks. Let me see if I can get this uh, paper clip on. There, it's on. And then we're down to this is the doily print. This is, I've put that flip down in the pocket here. That flips up, and I, I I did that with the doily and I've put a corner piece, same corner piece there and the doily. And then this is a smaller dress form that sits in there and I put pearls around the waist. Smaller tag. And then this is a um, postcard stamp that I have and that's the uh, Gico paper on the back of that. So that lives in there, yeah, that goes in there like that, that holds the, the flip down and then that sits in there and that sits in there and then this is the back. And then on the back I've put handmade by just for you and I've got to sign it and date it yet and then this is one of my new um, bird stamps. Now this is the small stamp, now there is a bigger one. And I do have both, and this is the first time I've used these as well. Um, so that's that. And then that lives in this little folio. Uh, you can use it as a writing folio, you can use it as whatever you want, Jill. It's just a little pocket and you can use it and do what 
whatever you want with it. So that's that's that. Then I made you one of these. And I know you like green, because you told me. <laughs> um, I've put some little rosebuds back and front on the ribbon ends for the closure. One of the resin roses there and there. In there, there's some uh, napkins, because we all like napkins. And then, <coughs> excuse me, in this side, I've done some bobbins. Uh, I've made the bobbins out of the uh, the bobbin uh, that was gifted to me, and I use, just use it as a template. It's not. A, I don't have this die. I just use, you know, one that's similar to that. I draw around it, cut it out, and I do, and I back it with. Um, that's been backed with the craft card, and that's some shiny paper. Now I put some ribbon in there, and I've held it down with a, a stick pin. And it has got um, one of the ear back clasps on the back so it doesn't stick into anybody. This one I've um, added some of the resin buttons like I've done on the closure uh, and I've sewn them on. That's that side. This side we've got. Uh, some of the these style uh, the little flowers and I I, I, I use these and I, I put the diamante in the middle of those when I use them uh, because there's, there's only one all so I normally glue them down on whatever I'm using um, and then I, I put the diamante in the middle and they're quite effective of those I like them and the green because Jill likes green and then this is some um, fibres that I have. Um, I have quite a lot of this fibre. I have quite a lot of fibres in different colours. I have a cream, I have a, an off-white colour, I have the purpley one, it's purple and green, depending on uh, how it comes off the, uh, the bobbin, because it's a massive bobbin. Um, and then that just gets tied up with the um, ribbon like that and then that's that's the ends of it so that's that's that one now we were doing an item um, a surprise so you could say that's my surprise I don't know um, and then the other thing that I've made is one of my little bags now the first time I've only ever made one of these before and it went to a lady in Spain that I did a swap with. Um, and this is, is oh, one of the detergent, uh, like a calcium deposit, you know, the calcium tablets that you buy. And what I've done is cut, I've cut it down. So it's a rigid box. Um, is that, as you can see, I've trimmed round it with the, the pearl trim, put the lace round, I've put the um, ribbon handles, um, this is the front of it, I've put some of the um, tool, it's got tool and I um, can't think of the name of that rose, um, the material that it's made out of, anyway somebody will tell me I'm sure. Um, yeah, I can't think. Um, and then a, a bunch of the other little flowers. And then they're like stamens of those, but some of them are, are really crystallised. The lovely of those. And then I've put two here, because you always put five on. Odd numbers works. Five, three there, two there, five. Um, and then I've put a um, some of the like wedding flowers, the little white ditzy flowers and then down each side, down each corner I've used the ditzy uh, to finish it and on the bottom, that's what it looks like on the bottom if you can see it, yeah, that's how it's finished on the bottom and then in, he in here, do you know, get your teeth in Lynn. 
We've got a card that I've made for Jill. That's a, that's the card that I've done for her. Uh, I need to write that. Um, so that's the card that I've made. And then there's some fibres that I've printed up. And these are different tags. Um, are those? And then I've added some lace and tool and the Ditsy flower and um, punched along the same paper as the, the tag, printed it up. That's another one. Uh, I ran out of the same paper line. Uh, this is the one that I'm talking about that's either purple or green or blue, comes off uh, the roll. Um, then there's this one. This is the lace that I've used. Um, that's that one. And then I put you some of my flowers in. They're the ones with the little rhinestones in with the tool. And those are the just the tool without the rhinestones. So you could add your own rhinestones, Jill, if you wanted to. And then we've got little bunny. <laughs> You've got little bunny. Um the green little bunny, the hand warmer bunny that I made and I'm not quite sure whether I did put lavender in there or not, I can't remember. I probably did a little bit. I think there is a little, little bit in. It's lavender and it is actually from my garden from last year that I dry and I keep uh, to use on projects. So yeah, that's uh, the hand warmer bunny. And then I've put you um, a little piece of chocolate in, dark toffee it is. And this is one of these heavenly, pure heavenly bars. My friend gifted me some and I thought I'd share some with you as well. Um, they're dairy free, gluten free, only 1% sugar, palm oil free and soya free. 73% uh, cocoa, alternative to dark chocolate. So if you don't like it, gift it on to somebody. Um, but uh, that is to dark toffee flavour is that one. So they're all my, I don't think there's anything else. I think, I think we've got to the end now. So they're all my um, swap items. Don't know where that's come from. For Jill. So I hope you like them, Jill. I hope you won't be disappointed in what I've um, tried to do for you. I know it's taken me a long time, uh, but I am a slow crafter. And uh, it took me a while to get that album together. And with being away as well, um, it just seems like it's took me forever. But um, I've got there. I've managed to get there in the end. So there you have it. There's your little handbag. And there's your pouch with your bits and pieces in. Because I know you like green and I think you like this. I've gifted these out before. People tend to like these little things. And they're just some serviettes in there. And then this is the... Um, this is the main event, as you would say, um, that I've done. It's all handmade by me uh, on cotton fabric and uh, some old pieces that I had that I've had in my stash for a, a while that uh, I thought would go lovely on this project. And I love this stamp and also I love that stamp and uh, they're pieces that have been moustache and then this is your your little TN that I've done for you so I hope you like them all so thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video bye for now